Sing on the five string banjo, keep on the sunny side of life. And it's time for an eating with Dan Haven and the country hymn timers. And I hope a lot of people out there get it around the TV. <laughs> We're going to be around for an hour. I hope you can stay with us. Then let's get on into the singing. Going to call on Cheryl and Knight. And what are you going to do, Cheryl? My soul. It would be better if I turn your mic on. Say it again. <laughs> Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Okay. And what's this next song we're going to do? I'm going to try to sing Just a Closer Walk with the E.
good song. That's a cultural one. I just wonder how close we can get to Jesus. It's a good question, something to think about. Okay. And we're going to uh, keep the singing going right along and call on Sandra. And see what she got for. All right, Sandra. I'm going through. Hallelujah. I'm going to go along the way, huh? Yes. <laughs> Tuned in to uh, Evening with Dan Halen and all these country hymn timers and you folks. If you'd like to write to us, we'd love to hear from you. <laughs> P.O. Box 422, Syracuse, Ohio, 45779. That will get it. Tell us where you're picking up the program. Oh, if you have a song you'd like for somebody to sing, do that. Okay, box 422, Syracuse, Ohio, 45779. Okay, Sid and Carol, they're approaching the microphones, and what you all got? <clears throat> this song we did, I think, a couple times on two or three times on the program, and uh, I kind of like a, you know, walk slow. <laughs> walk slow. That way maybe you won't fall down so easy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that, that, it's got a good message in this song. Too. Walk slow. Count the clouds as they pass. Walk slow, count the daisies in the grass. Life is fast, we're forever on the go. Take the time to take it in and walk slow. Walk slow as you travel down life's way.
walks love Let us show the world a smile Walks love Just as if you were a child Just enjoy Mother Nature and her show This next song, Carol is going to do the lead on it, and uh, even the valley, even the valley. <laughs>
Kale. Mm -hmm. Even the valley. Even the valley. All right. A lot of singing and music for you folks out there. And it's good to have you tuned in. And we're going to uh, call on my I'm going to say favorite person. <laughs> I almost have to do this. My better half. <laughs> Faith Heyman. Hello. And, uh, Faith, you move, or said you move just a little bit there. I'll get one of Keith's for this. G-sharp. All right, G-sharp. Well, we got that. But first, I want to say hi to several people on our list here. Yeah. We got an email. We got three of them from Ginger, this from the same person, Ginger Dahanet. I yeah. think that's her name. And she loves watching the TV program, loves to hear all the songs singing about Jesus. God bless you all. Well, thank you very much. I do not know. When you get an email, you don't have an address unless they tell us. Okay, these are some people at Overbrook that watch the program. Overbrook Rehabilitation Center in Middleport, Ohio. Our pastor's wife, Brenda Weaver. Please pray for her. Yeah. We miss her. She's there for some therapy after her surgery. She fell. And we want to say hi to her roommate, Mildred Hudson. We want to say hi to our little niece, Lil Hart, and Dolly Woods. We went to visit all of them the other day. Did there was that many people in there? Oh, there's, <laughs> we there's a bunch. I know, I found out later that some we know. I'm going to have to go see them. <clears throat> I want to thank Doris, our friend from Virginia. Thank you for everything. Love you. And we met Vernon and Patty Roush from Mason at West Virginia. And they were at Rita Kay's Sweets and Treats. And you need to go there. It is, if people know where the old Pickens hardware, it's across the street. If you know where Mason Furniture, it's just a few doors down or up from Mason Furniture. So we've been there for four or five days and we missed uh, the sixth one and uh, <laughs> we're gonna make it up. <laughs> but uh, that is Sid and Carol's oldest daughter, Rita Kay. And they have gospel music there too. A lot of good food, so you need to go out. And we want to say hi to Betty Miller and Marie Plants from Point Pleasant. And uh, I hope I hadn't forgot anybody. I was listening to the songs being sung already so far. We need a closer walk with the Lord. And when you're down in the valley, God's down there too. He's up on the mountain. And I said on our program, I'm going to sing the song, Don't Go Home Tonight Unsaved, where it could be, Don't Go Home Today Unsaved. Okay, Dan. That could be the one again. Right.
unsaved. Don't go home tonight unsaved. Don't let the sun go down if you're not saved. Come on, Debbie. You know we're in getting place. Debbie Dodrow. She's up next. And, uh... First of all, I want to say I love the Lord. And I'm sorry I've been missing, but God knows about it. And August the 3rd was my sister Sharon's birthday. And I want to say happy birthday. I love you so much. And I love everybody out there. God wants us to show love everywhere. So this song is, Oh, How I Love Jesus. You know?
That's Debbie. Oh, how I love Jesus. Good job, Debbie. Thank you. Good job. All right, we're going next with the trio. All right, girls, what you got? Okay, Debbie. Praise the Lord. <laughs> How much Jesus loves us. He loves us so much. <laughs> yeah. I want to send our song today out to some new friends that I've met through promoting the Bendary Gospel Jubilee and the Shep Shepherd's Way Gospel Quartet in Oneida, Tennessee. Really enjoyed talking to you folks down there. I want to say hello to you, Steve Chubb, and your wife. And I hope you're watching this program by Facebook or a face page or wherever. <laughs> but uh, uh, how good God is. And uh, really, really, really looking forward to meeting you folks. And uh, okay, we're going to sing Last Mile of the Way. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I walk in the pathway of duty, if I work till the close of the day, I shall see the great King in His beauty when I've gone the last mile. Enhance all the raptures of heaven. 
<laughs> All right, girls, what else you got? We're going to do one more year. There's a message in this song, friends. We just pray God will let us be here as long as, long as he sees fit that we might tell the story. Yeah. And uh, someone will see they need Jesus. Yeah. I heard a dying man praying before he passed away. I know I've sinned, dear Lord, he prayed. My feet have wandered astray. His hand song. That's uh, one of my favorite songs having you girls do. Yeah. You, used to sing that with your, your daughter Joyce and Jamie. Yeah, okay. Uh, again, uh, our address, P.O. Box 422, Syracuse, Ohio, 45779. All right. Uh, we also have a, a radio program, Ban and Faith, and Evening with Mumps. <laughs> I done forgot the name of it. Down Home Gospel. Down Home Gospel. On every Sunday morning from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. 
on WBYG. Um, that's a 99.5 FM. Okay, in Point Pleasant. All well, right, my better half back to the mic, and uh, what you going to do, Faith? Well, this is a, this is a song that my uh, dad was influenced, and he, um, his friend, and they all went to my dad's church that he started, Prayer and Faith Tabernacle in North Charleston, Walter Bales. And he wrote this song. And my dad went to uh, home one day, like on Sunday afternoon, and dad left his Bible in the car. And I just know it was for a reason. God seen this. And Dad wanted to read some scriptures, so he asked the person for a Bible. And when it came out and they opened it up, dust came off of it. And Walter Bells went home and wrote this song. A lot of people have recorded this, too. It's an older song, of course. A lot of people have recorded dust on the Bible. Thought of that while I was singing it, uh, our pastor brother Dennis Weaver, he says in every time he uh, speaks at our church on Sunday nights at 6:30, he says, "Please get the Bible out and read it and study." So I had to think of that, and he <laughs> preaches it to us every Sunday night. <laughs> All right, thank you, Faith, and. Uh, we're going to go next with uh, the pastor of our church, Syracuse Community Church, uh, Dennis Weaver, and uh, of course his uh, wife Brenda is, is in the Overbrook, and she fell and and really messed up her leg between her knee and her hip and had to put in a plate. So she's gonna be out of it for a while. But, all right, let's find out. Dennis, what are you gonna sing for us? There's a line by man unseen 
Okay, uh, thank you, Dennis. Good song, and we enjoyed that. And uh, Debbie Dogdraw, she's back to the microphone. And what are you going to do with Debbie? Don't kill that microphone up now, Debbie. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I got to see Dennis the other day in the hospital, and it was so good to see him. And yeah. I just. He's truly a blessing to me. Ever since I was a little girl, yeah. I love his singing and his preaching. I don't get to get here very much, but I can feel the spirit over him when I'm around him. And I, my sister's not here to do the scripture. So this, I kept looking and, and praying. And this is what I feel like reading. Psalms 23 The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want He maketh me to lie down in green pastures He leadeth me beside the still waters He restoreth my soul He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness For his name's sake Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's hard to imagine. I pray for the ones that don't know the Lord. Time is getting shorter and shorter. He may come today he may come tomorrow. He's one that I lean on every day. Every day and every moment. 
I do come to you to ask for prayers again. The doctors are watching me. They don't. My arm gets, my head started shaking, now it's my arm. And when I'm out and I'm at home, you know, you pick up a plate and you get so sick to your stomach trying to wrestle with stuff, trying to get it to your mouth. So I don't want to have any surgeries. I told my doctor, I said, well, if it is what they think it might be, he said, there's a surgery they can go in your brain. And I said, I'm just going to have my church people pray harder. The Lord has brought me through so much. I hate, I hate to ask him for any more. He's gave me so many blessings. So many blessings brought me through so much. And he's gave me this special man in my life who's sick himself, but he watches and takes care of me so much. And I'm so thankful for that. It'll be going on 44 years, August the 8th. And I want to thank him back there for all that he does for me and that God gives him the mercies. And this song, sometimes I can get it out, and sometimes I can't. Jesus, he's my truest friend.
All right, let's go on, and we're going to call on Sid and Carol Heyman and see what they got for us. I just forgot your last name, and I know it's just plain enough. Let's go bring it up. Yes. Okay, and, and remember our daughter-in-law, Lindsay, who fell and broke both of her arms. And mm -hmm. so you folks just remember her in prayer a lot, her and Robert. Why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve it? Back this way the next time. Bye-bye.